call for all foodies to experience 48 hours of exploring Jaffa's top restaurants from the inside. Get tips from the chefs on cooking and most importantly, taste all the menu, especially made for you in a small group of about a handful of culinary fans just like you. This is what Restaurants From Within is all about. Trepanomirov Oren always loved going to restaurants like many of her fellow Tel Avivians. Until one day she came up with the idea to open up the restaurants to their customers for a glimpse of what happens when they are sitting, waiting by the table. I just love restaurants, I love food. I've been sitting uh, all over the place, uh, Tel Aviv and Yafo. And I just wondered how come it's so nice and quiet when you see it on the plate. And I wondered how does it get that, you know, how does it become that way. What actually happens in those events? Some of them you just meet the chef and go see the restaurant, the uh, kitchen of course, the behinds of the restaurant and see how he's cooking. Some of them you go into the behind of the restaurant and you cook by yourself. Some of them we went with them to buy the fish and buy the uh, ingredients and came back to the restaurant and made the f make the food together. And it seems there's a lot of foodies that are willing to, you know, take a time off just to see what are the secrets that are behind what you see and get on your plate when you come to eat. This project is, uh, I like it because uh, I can meet new people who want to, to know how is the restaurant? It's from the inside, from the kitchen, from the waiters, from the morning when the, the vegetables come, the fish come. Um, how we treat the, the ingredients for everything. At first I thought uh, it will not uh, sold out, but three days after uh, they put it on the internet, all sold out and people very like the, the, the kitchens, the restaurant. Restaurant is all about people, and uh, I'll, we love to meet our customers intimately, to talk with them about food, to show them how we prepare the food that they eat. We have lovely, lovely ingredients, and we want them to look at them before we cook it. Here in Yono, we use a few methods of cooking, like uh, we smoke the fish, and we use the taboon for our bread, and it's kind of new thing for them and we'll have to show this. What is the benefit for an establishment like yours to have a project like that? Uh, the exposure and getting uh, people who don't know the restaurant, don't know the cuisine we have and converting them to ambassadors of the restaurant. With these kind of people, I have a chance, an opportunity that I don't have with most of the customers to give them the whole philosophy of the place and uh, get them to understand more the cuisine, not only taste-wise, but also uh, uh, concept-wise of what we do. And I think this is going to make them uh, good customers. to hug and to like my customers or my guests in the restaurant. And I think most of them want to, to come and to see behind the scenes of the restaurant. And I want to give them the knowledge you know, from the inside of the restaurant. We go into the percentages of the profit. We want them to understand us, because everybody thinks all the owner of restaurants are making a lot of money. And it's a hard work, it's a day-to-day -day work and uh, that we try to do our best every day for them to be happy and for us to survive. The Cahill family is one of Jaffa's oldest families who have always shown to many of their fellow Muslims in the city that collaboration and integration with the Jewish residents is the way to go. As a result, the Cahills became one of the wealthiest families of Jaffa and extremely popular among all. It's actually a connect between the the Arabs here, the Jewish community, this restaurant with them, which they came to our restaurant and uh, tried uh, the Arabic kitchen food, and they cooked here, and they tried what they cooked. They, it's, it's like it's connected between the communities here in Jaffa. And we are welcome all, all Israel. The door is open, and they welcome any day, any time. 
People from abroad, they, they hear about Israel and the Arabs, they think well, there is war between us. But if you come here to Jaffa, and you come to eat in our restaurant, and you come to visit us, and you speak to us, it's completely different from what other, other people think about us. As night came upon us, it was time to try out the various local boutique beers, which have started filling up the bars of Tel Aviv. It's an opportunity to to meet our our clients, our audience, uh, you know, in a very intimate uh, uh, event. Uh, and it's for us, uh, we are trying to, to educate the, the people to to explore new new styles of beers and uh, and the, the Israeli craft beer. What kind of craft revolution, craft beer revolution we have in Israel? Uh, how many and what are the, the the craft breweries that are already established in the last few years? Uh, all the beers and the different styles and to know a bit more about beer. Someone who, who know more about beer, about, about the ingredients, about the procedures, about the process, uh, he can enjoy it much more. With the International Beer Tasting Workshop, we finished our very busy day of restaurant hopping. The organizers promised to come back with a new bunch of restaurants in the winter, so start booking your flights. For Jane One, I'm Ron Jacobson at the Restaurant Within in the Port of Jaffa.